you've seen them. The mannequins, the slow camera moves, the surreal storytelling. Yeah, that's Fern, the YouTube channel blowing up with eerie cinematic 3D animations. But he's not the only one. There are a few channels like him. And guess what? They're all killing it. In May 2025 alone, Fern pulled in over 20 million views. As someone who understands YouTube, I'd estimate their RPM is around $10. So that's $200,000 from AdSense in just one month. And brand deals easily double that. We're talking $500,000 plus at least off a single channel. Now, maybe you're thinking, if I could just make 1 40th of that, I'd be happy. But that's the wrong mindset. Don't focus on results. Focus on inputs. How do you recreate this style of content? Can you build an audience like that? Let's break it down. So what actually is the Fern style? It looks simple, but it's deeply engineered. Most Fern videos follow this exact formula. A single idea or question that feels surreal, philosophical, or eerie. Told through a neutral narrator with slow, haunting pacing. Animated in 3D scenes with mostly mannequin-like characters and minimal motion. Supplemented with stock or internet-sourced footage. Enhanced with strong sound design, ambient background background music, and atmospheric effects. The result? It feels like a short film, because it basically is. And it's not just about the 3D animations. It's the full package. Sound design, voiceover, editing, that's what makes it hit so hard. Now sound, editing, and narration? You can learn those. Even if you don't want to edit, you can hire someone and not have to sell your house. But let's talk about those cinematic 3D animations. They're made in a program called Blender, and from personal experience, that thing is hell to learn. You'll hit a wall where you seriously ask, is this even worth it? If you asked that two years ago, the answer would have been yes. Blender was the only real path to results like this. But today, not anymore because of AI. And many people are crying about how AI is this and that, how people with real skills are not paid enough, or some BS like that. This is technology, and you must adapt to new things. The world is moving, and it waits for nobody. Your choice is, will you adapt or get left behind? AI is moving so fast, and the only people who will survive the wave are the ones who know how to use it. That's why you should subscribe to Gentfid and join my free Discord group. I will show you how far and fast we've come. Like what the f*** is this? That was two years ago. Look at the difference just two years later. There will come a time when with just a single prompt, you can generate a full Fern video. So be ready for it. So ask yourself, do you really want to spend a year mastering Blender when your competitors can write a sentence and be done in 30 seconds? That's your choice. Learn Blender or learn AI. Now you're probably asking, has AI really come far enough to recreate Fern's animation style? And the answer is almost yes. The later you're watching this video, the more that answer becomes yes. I recreated one scene from Fern, and here's how it looks. It's not that bad. So let me walk you through the process, step by step. First, you need a topic. Not just any topic, an interesting one. You can find fascinating stories from all over the internet, or talk about events happening right now. Here are a few formats that work well. The technology that almost destroyed industry world. The scandal that changed industry country. The hidden war over emerging technology. How X country secretly controls resource industry. The dark side of common product or brand. Put in the work, research, find something that pulls people in. Once you've got your core idea, it's time to write the script. Fern's scripts aren't flashy. They're quiet, controlled, introspective. They're designed to build a mood. You can use AI to write scripts, but only if you've trained your model properly. If you just prompt ChatGPT with, write a long-form documentary script in the style of Fern, cinematic, slow-paced, 
narrated with eerie tone, you'll get something, something bad. Here's what you should do instead. Feed it Fern-style scripts. Tell your GPT to ask you more questions about it. Once the model is ready, don't just throw in a topic and hope for the best. Give it context. Example. This gives the AI a full storytelling structure to follow, not just a style, but a blueprint. Once you've got your script, break it down into visual beats. Each paragraph or sentence becomes its own scene. So that was the short version of how to find a topic and write a Fern-style script. Now we're moving to the part we all care about most, how to generate 3D animations with AI. So for the sake of this video, I'll recreate one of Fern's scenes entirely with AI. We will recreate a scene from this video. This compound is large, but it's nothing fancy. Inside, you'll find dozens of chickens, some vegetable patches, a cow, and the world's most wanted man. Only a handful of people know that Osama bin Laden and 60 members of his family have been living here for the past five years. Because we're recreating this scene, we first need to recreate the images. So I'll take screenshots from Fern's video, paste them into ChatGPT, and simply say, regenerate this photo. Okay, it looks good. But since DALI doesn't generate images in YouTube 16 by 9 resolution, we need to expand them in Canva first. Just drop the image in and use Magic Expand. We can see that the first scene is just a slow zoom in. So what we're gonna do is take that expanded image, duplicate it, slightly zoom in on the second one, and save it. Then we'll open ChatGPT, upload both images, and say, generate me a prompt for a slow zoom in between these two images. Everything else stays exactly the same. Let's make our first animation. We're going to use Pika Labs. And for this scene, we'll use a tool called Pika Frames. First, let's upload the two images. Then paste in the prompt that ChatGPT gave us. That's it. Now just run it and you'll have a smooth camera movement between the two still frames. The animation looks good, but just so you know, this was actually the third attempt. Not everything will go perfectly on the first try, and that's normal. If something looks off, just retry or tweak the prompt until it works. Now, I'll just repeat this process for every scene. Generating the images, expanding them, creating zooms or pans, and animating them in Pika. Let's see how it all comes together. Two hours later. It took me less than two hours, but we got it done. And here's how it turned out. This compound is large, but it's nothing fancy. Inside, you'll find dozens of chickens, some vegetable patches, a cow, and the world's most wanted man. Only a handful of people know that Osama bin Laden and 60 members of his family have been living here for the past five years. Not bad, but here are a few things you should know before you try this yourself. Be patient. As I said, AI is developing so fast, it's only a matter of time before we can generate a full Fern-style video with a single click. Talk to your chatbot. I know I didn't show you the full process of how I made this video, and that's actually better for you. Why? Because you need to learn how to solve AI problems on your own. While recreating this video, I ran into thousands of failed generations and mistakes, but I still made it work because I constantly talk to the chatbot. Whenever something doesn't look right or I want to change something, I just tell it. That's the workflow. Constantly learn and adapt. There are updates and new tools dropping every day and you need to stay on top of them. If you want to keep up and learn faster, you can join my free Discord group. Links in the description. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. I'll answer everyone.